Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, peace be with you. On the evening of August 14th and all day August 15th, the church celebrates the solemnity of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary, one of the many Marian feast days throughout the liturgical calendar. Pope Pius XII formally established this solemnity in 1950, but the church has believed this dogma for centuries, namely that upon her death, God raised Mary body and soul into heaven. We call her death a dormition, a falling asleep. There is no place on earth that entombs her body as there will be for you and for me, for her body and soul have been taken into glory, all because she obeyed God's will and became the mother of his divine son, Jesus Christ. In her assumption, Mary is a sign of hope and immortality. She is the new Eve. Unlike the first Eve, Mary aligned herself so closely to God's will by an extraordinary grace that we have certain faith that she lives with God in glory in both body and soul, representing what awaits us at the end of all time, when the bodies of the faithfully departed will be rejoined to their souls, and we will live with God and one another in perfect unity, harmony, and peace. Mary and her glorious assumption show us our destiny. And so, dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I invite all of us to participate in Holy Mass on the Solemnity of the Assumption, which is a holy day of obligation. Go to Mass and there unite yourself with God in the Eucharist and thank God for Mary, who was chosen to be the Immaculate Mother of our Savior and who because of her unyielding faith, purity and devotion, lives with the Father, Son and Holy Spirit and all the saints and angels, now and forever, in both body and soul.